Hey there, Jake. That's right. There is definitely some disagreement right now within the medical community about the effectiveness of children wearing masks in school. Some experts say they should keep them on, especially as COVID is still surging right now. But Virginia's health commissioner, commissioner actually says that masks may not be doing any good right now. For nearly two years, Virginians have relied on the experts for guidance to help protect themselves and others from COVID-19, from masks to vaccines and everything in between. But what happens when even doctors start to disagree on the prevention measures that we've grown accustomed to? Unfortunately, to totally clearing up any confusion is going to be difficult. This is Dr. Colin Green, who was appointed by Governor Glenn Youngkin as Virginia's acting health commissioner. That means he advises the governor on all issues related to health, including children wearing masks in school. There are downsides to masking. And Green says it can lead to long-term effects for younger kids, such as... A decrease in recognition of, of emotions, uh, trouble with communication, particularly people who are hearing impaired. He also questions the efficacy of masks, citing anecdotal research showing they offer limited protection from the Omicron variant among children. But when we ask for a study or data to support that... If you're looking for a clear research answer from from a published study, that's going to be hard to find. Why? Dr. Green says Omicron hasn't been around long enough yet, and there wouldn't be an ethical way to conduct an ideal study. You'd have to take a group of school children you have to flip a coin and randomize them and say, oh, you all are going to wear a mask and you all are, and we'll see how many, of get, how many of you get sick on each side. He says the lack of research leads to a disconnect in the U.S. medical community. For instance, the CDC, VDH, and Virginia Chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics all recommend mask wearing for kids to and up in school. So that begs the question, should the governor have waited until after the Omicron surge to make masks optional in schools? I don't think there was a strong need for that. I, I know it would make people feel better because they kind of have it in their minds that masking stops COVID. And I also want to highlight a new study published on Friday by the CDC. Take a look here at your screen. Between February and December of last year, people who wore a cloth, a, a cloth mask indoors were 56% less likely to test positive for COVID-19. Those who wore a surgical mask, 66% lower odds. And for a KN95 mask, 83% lower odds. I should also note that that data was collected before the Omicron wave hit the U.S.